Well, let's ask the interesting question, I think. The New Orleans Saints, who are a 1-3 team that feels much better than 1-3, they have a bit of a quarterback controversy. I love a good quarterback controversy. Andy Dalton came in and clearly played better than injured Jameis Winston. I think until Jameis Winston is healthy, Andy Dalton should be the guy. To me, that feels pretty clear. The question is, should Andy Dalton just be the guy in general, even if Winston is healthy? It's a fascinating question, because I think they both have their their positives and their benefits. They couldn't be any more different quarterbacks. But let's first talk about how Andy Dalton actually played versus Minnesota, and then at the end we'll talk about should they make a move. So this play, it's going to be a man coverage play, and you have Chris Olave running a, you know, a good route against a type of coverage. Because what's the one thing we've heard a lot about with Olave? He is someone who can burn you down the field. That's something that he's been very good at so far and during his career. Uh, and, you know, Winston hasn't hit all those deep shots, but he has been getting open. So that's the, that's the nice thing. Look at how when Dalton takes a snap and looks towards his left, you see that the corner is definitely making sure he does not get burned deep. So the fact that he's now going to cut in is a very good situation. It can create some separation. Dalton knows this. Dalton's aware of all of this stuff. This is the advantage of having a, you know, uh, a veteran quarterback is they just sort of know, okay, these are the times when I make the throw. You know, I always felt like Ryan Fitzpatrick was the best at this stuff of like, you know, making the throw a half second before you, you can feel confident it's open just by sort of reading stuff and now he would get himself in trouble sometimes Andy Dalton doesn't quite throw it that early but Dalton just knows when to cheat sometimes when to make the throw a little bit earlier than the average quarterback would so watch how when Dalton makes this throw you're able to pick up a first down on a third down largely due to just understanding the situation more than anything else and that's something that you have to pay attention to if you're a quarterback you have to be aware of situations you have to know situations and Dalton certainly does moving on to this play this is another good example of, you know, just running an offense, right? That's the simple stuff that Dalton can do. Jameis Winston can definitely make more throws than Andy Dalton can make. I don't think anyone's going to argue that. Andy Dalton's mom wouldn't argue that, right? That's clearly true. But you just feel like, does Dalton have maybe a, a you know, if we're making a baseball example, Dalton might hit less home runs, but he probably has a better batting average. He puts the ball in play more frequently. doesn't strike out as much. This play is going to be a zone coverage play. You have, uh, you know, you have a, a receiver running a, a sort of a clear out route, and then you have another receiver who's going to try to just get into a gap in coverage and get open. Look at how right when this play begins, it's working okay. It's not wide open, but you know, for Dalton, it's going to be a lot about firing the trigger quickly. It's going to be a lot about just getting the ball there quickly, and it helps that if you go and look at where Andy Dalton is standing right now, he is in the throwing motion. He is ready to make this throw. He's not hesitating. He's getting the ball there quickly. Again, just the little things that you know he knows how to do. Dalton makes this throw, and again, those are the types of plays that Dalton can make consistently. I thought that he would, I really thought that he played very well in this system against this, the Vikings. And if you think about it, it's kind of a system perfectly built for him. This is the stuff that he excels at, and it's kind of a scheme based solely around this stuff. And like going on to stuff like this, it's not like Andy Dalton has a noodle arm and can't throw the ball more than five yards down the field as well. He can make a deep throw if he has to. And this is going to be, uh, you know, I think a good example of him making a good athletic play where. It's a man coverage play. You have a receiver running a good route against this type of coverage, right? It's once again Chris Olave who's running a route that's going to get all the way over the middle. It's going to take a minute to develop, so pass rush could potentially get there. Pass protection is very important on this play, so you're running a play action. The play action might actually serve more to give your quarterback more time than anything else. That's definitely something that could happen, but watch what happens. So uh, you're going to see that they run the play action right here, and eventually Olave appears to be getting open, but the pass rush is definitely coming towards Andy Dalton right now. There's someone right behind him. There's also someone about to run right into him. So he's going to have to make this throw relatively far down the field. Again, you know, 30 yards, that's nothing for an NFL quarterback. But still, it's not like it's a check down either. You do have to put some effort into this throw, but you're going to have to take a hit as well. And that's where the difficulty of this play can lie. However, Dalton does make this throw. They are able to pick up the completion there. So not the easiest of plays from Andy Dalton, but a good one, I think. And I think that that's fair. I think that it's fair to say that, you no, know, this was a good play by Andy Dalton. Dalton was able to do what he was required to do. He did the court. He's a point guard quarterback, right? Making another sport example right now, but he might not be the guy who's shooting these incredible threes, but he's getting the ball into the right player's hands at the right time. Now, I noticed one mistake that we'll talk about about, which is this one, which, you know, you don't want to see these mistakes. I think this is fair. You have a receiver who's running a route that, you know, 
against this coverage, it can get open. You're underneath the deep corner and safety on this play, so there's a chance it works, but this coverage is called cover six because it's cover four on one side, cover two on the other, meaning there are two safeties deep, but one of the safeties is covering the entire uh, you know, bottom right-hand corner of the screen, so the entire uh, right side of the field for the offense, whereas on the other side, you have a corner and a safety kind of splitting that side of the field. And so because of this, you do have to be careful of someone maybe playing a bit more aggressive because you do have help next to you, so it's not like you're all on your own, whereas on the other side of the field, you're probably going to have a less aggressive safety, right? When this play begins, I can see why Dalton decides to make this throw. Right here, you can definitely see it, and it's going to kind of come down to who closes on this ball better. And on this play, this could have easily been an interception, and that would have been a tough interception for the Saints right there. So, you know, definitely got away with one, I think, there. So, okay, not perfect. I don't think anyone's going to call Andy Dalton perfect. He is someone who will make the occasional mistake. But, you know, again, you could say that with every quarterback. And finally, something like this, where, listen, I feel like I'm coming off very positive on Andy Dalton. I'm not saying the guy's a superstar. I'm just saying, I think the guy can play. I think I think he's a, you know, top 32 quarterback in this league. I do. And this is a great example of him in, in this situation. They really needed a spark. They weren't getting too much going. It felt like they needed someone to come up and make a play. And this felt like Andy Dalton... Uh, you know, playing for the win, not playing for his statistics, where it's a cover two man play, you have a receiver running a go route uh, towards the top of the screen, and watch what happens. Dalton is going to take the snap, Dalton is going to eventually look there, and you see the player have circled in black, the safety who was in charge of covering the top half of the screen, he's moved very far in. I mean, he's on the hash marks right now. So this go route this is a good opportunity to take a shot. This is when you want to take a shot. And it feels like Andy Dalton says, you know what? Situation-wise, it's time to make a shot. Schematic-wise, it's time to make a shot. I think some quarterbacks would still be a little bit hesitant because you don't know if it's going to get open. I mean, it still is a one-on-one -on -one matchup at this point. You have no idea if it's going to get open. But you know what? Sometimes you have to take those chances if you're going to win a football game. As you see, Dalton does make this throw. Very good throw. Uh, able to be a catch. So just a very good play from Andy Dalton. And these are the kind of things I feel like he can do for the Saints pretty consistently. So I guess that comes down to what is the answer to my question I posed at the beginning of this video? Is Andy Dalton someone who should be starting right away? Should he replace Jameis Winston or should he not replace Jameis Winston? And I think my answer is I would love to see more. I hope we get maybe another week or two to really see it, but I kind of feel like maybe Andy Dalton should be the starter. It's not even me saying that Jameis is bad. I, I like Jameis Winston. I think Jameis Winston brings plenty to the table, and I wouldn't hate having him as the quarterback either. Again, I do think part of his recent uh, lows have been due to injury, although I also think that he's just, that's kind of to some degree who he is, but I kind of just feel like Andy Dalton's a better fit for this scheme. That's kind of how I view it. You know, Jameis Winston always kind of felt like a bit of an odds fit to this scheme, whereas for Andy Dalton, it almost feels like a match made in heaven, and even when he was signed, it kind of felt like, you know, that could actually work out really well if necessary. So, I, I get the logic on both ends. I don't think it's a massive jump either way, because I do think they're both talented quarterbacks. I'm not someone who believes Winston is a bust, but I really think it comes down to you're a team who's kind of built on playing great defense and just take, taking what the defense gives you. It feels like Dalton fits that team better than, uh, you know, Jameis Winston might fit that team. Maybe if you feel like you're going to have to win some shootouts, you put Winston in, but I don't think they have to do that. I still think the Saints are a pretty decent team, so I'd stick with Dalton, but that's what I would do. What would you do? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Andy Dalton? Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always... Thanks for watching.